This video will demonstrate Botox and spica casting for a child with a brachial plexus birth injury. Begin by performing an ultrasound in a lateral decubitus position. In this case, the ultrasound demonstrates severe glenohumeral dysplasia with a near dislocation of the glenohumeral joint. Because the child is only a few months old, the scapula has not yet had a chance to remodel and deform. Fortunately, the joint reduces with external rotation and some abduction. Because a joint reduction can be affected closed, Botox and casting is then performed, beginning here with the pectoralis major. Electrical stimulation is used to confirm needle placement prior to injection. Next, the teres major and latissimus dorsi are injected. We typically inject 100 units of dysport per muscle. Finally, the subscapularis is injected by abducting, externally rotating, and forcing the scapula away from the body. A long arm cast is then applied, making sure that it is not too high on the arm to impinge on the axilla. Once the cast is hardened, the patient is transferred to a spica bar with towels to allow for expansion of the chest placed underneath the cast. Care should be taken so that the cast does not impinge on the thighs or on the axilla. Cuffs are applied to protect the skin. Up until walking age, we prefer soft cast as our casting material. When it comes time for cast removal, the soft cast could be unwrapped and is therefore less traumatizing to the child than using a cast saw. A bar is used to maintain the position of maximum external rotation in as little abduction as is required. The towel is removed and the patient is awakened from anesthesia. The cast is maintained for three to four weeks, after which a nighttime orthosis is used until the patient recovers active external rotation and abduction. For more information, visit us at littlearms.org.